me really is my passion for the students. Really, I want to see my students reach certain goals. Whatever that goal is, many of them have different goals, and being able to help the students achieve those goals are paramount to, to my, my thought process. So I am originally from the south side of Chicago in a place called Harvey, Illinois. And when I went to school, um, we had a trade school there. So from high school, I went to Denver Automotive and Diesel College, which is actually owned by Lincoln College today. And so most of my training uh, from the beginning was high school automotive, and then I went to Lincoln Tech also and that's how I got started in the business. But in the old days, we used to read Help Wanted ads, and I read an ad for uh, Lincoln College and said, are you a mechanic? Are you ASE certified? Do you want to help young people learn? And I'm like, yeah, then come and apply. Maybe you could be an instructor. And then when I got here and was hired, uh, they had all the tools laid out for me so that I can move to the next level. So teaching here has actually been an honor, but the reality is uh, I don't work for Lincoln College of Technology. I work for the students who come here whose lives we're all trying to change. He's a good teacher, you know. He, you know, well, not a good teacher, he's a great teacher. You know, he, he explains everything and get, gets it to you, get it right to the point. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, what makes me an effective instructor is actually my students. If you can get the students to help you along the way, oh my goodness, half the battle is already won. So many of my students are in different trades, they have different skill sets, and so I always draw on my students and my peers to help me become more effective. If I get a classroom of energized students, I can do anything. With students, if I can get them to do what I call peer learning, I get one of their peers to learn it, and then kind of one of their peers to move that information to another peer, it seems to work. But this um, form of education that I grew up with and the students has drastically changed. They want the information quick, fast, and in a hurry, and you have to make transitions that keep them awake and then never give up the passion for learning. There is so much science to learn. And many of our students come here, when they were in high school, they may not have enjoyed math, they may not have enjoyed the science, but around here it's nothing but math and science. That's why I'm in, imploring my students, I'm like, you have to be ready for the changes that are going to come. So what I do to motivate students is if I'm asking a difficult question or I need a challenge uh, submitted or if I want to volunteer I say hey I, I got a job to do who wants to volunteer all right now my first volunteer now wins that award which which sets us up for the next time I do something hey I need a volunteer hey I want to volunteer I want to volunteer oh I only got one prize but thanks a lot guys so I found uh, that simple rewards and I don't think you have to spend a lot of money. Sometimes my reward is, is just the thank you. And what I'm trying to say is if you participate and if you learn, there are rewards associated with that. And those rewards ultimately will be a paycheck. Thank you, I've received a uh, Commitment to Education Award. Uh, it was kind of a big deal, and when I thought about it in the end, any of the achievements that I've had over my career has always been on the shoulders of somebody else. There are so many senior instructors that I've worked with who've helped me along the way in my progression. 
There are also many students who spent many a day with me, especially in COVID, when I was going, hey, I don't understand how to make this microphone work. Hey, I, I, do you guys see my video? So my awards have a lot to do with all of the people around me. The main thing that I like about Mr. Young the most is that he will make sure that he will drill a subject into your head until it actually sticks into your brain. And that's the main thing that, that's going to be so important for us because when we get out into the real field, we're going to be thinking about the things that Mr. Young has taught us. Sometimes the gauging of their success may not be until years and years later. And it is such a privilege and an honor to have a student call me a few years later and say, hey, Mr. Young, this is what I'm doing because of you and Lincoln and you guys caring. And that is my measurement for success. Mm -hmm.